This is certainly, certainly a great day. You're talking about making Juneteenth a national, national holiday. Let's give it a hand, a national holiday for Juneteenth. First of all, let me just say thank you to my good friend, the first African-American female in Ferguson, Ellen Jones. And then I want to thank Carol Daniels, one of the best you have on the radio. And then uh, Shalanda Lafer and all the others, and, and uh, uh, Andrea and her mother, Esther Haywood. I won't be long, don't, don't have to be long to be strong. I'm gonna tell you like, like uh, somebody told her last five husbands, Liz Taylor, I won't be keeping you long. <laughs> but what I want to say about Ellen is what will be one of the greatest admirers that this country has ever produced. God made man and then he made woman. Man means mind and woman means the womb of the mind. The only way that a human being can come into this world is through the womb of the mind. And the reason why God made man first and woman second is because he wanted to make the rough draft before he made the master plan. So Ellen, you are our master plan. I also want to thank uh, Wesley Bell for what he's doing. Very needed in that seat over in the government. And we want to thank him because he's setting it right and making things right. And for all of us, I want to say to Andrea, who have the establishment, her and her mother, they're doing a great job. You know, it takes a lot to start your own business. It takes a lot to please people. It takes a lot to put programs on. And she has done that. Me and her mother served in the State House together. That's a Haywood. And I'm going to tell you, we didn't accept no wood nipples from nobody. We moved on. I just want to say to you that this is a happy occasion of Juneteenth. One that we can all never forget. And we have to tell our young children about Juneteenth. So a lot of people don't know what Juneteenth is all about. It's about slavery. It's about them. It's about freedom. And that's what it's all about. It started in Galveston, Texas years ago. 1865, where John Graham started to free our people. But all of our people didn't want to be free. You know, we got a lot of people now don't want to be free. So we got to make them be free and let them know all that we went through as a people. See, we wonder we can't let them define what happens to us in slavery. We can't let other people define who we are and where we are and where we going. We have to do that. We wonder why America spent so much time trying to defer our dream. It's because black people know how to use what they have. Black people know how to go from the wilderness to the promised land. Black people know how to take the chains of slavery off. They won't give us a fair chance because they know we would do better than everybody else. So certainly, certainly this is a great day. And we're gonna have some more June teas. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep it moving. And we're gonna be the best that we can be. And that's what we're going to do. And I tell everybody, everybody, get the word out about June tea. Because if we don't do it, it's gonna die. And don't forget to vote. Yeah. I'm voting too, yeah. it's the best tool in which we have. I voted to got Barack Obama, the first president of this United States, black president. Pr uh, pr voting rights, voting. Got Ellen Jones, the first mayor, female of Ferguson. Our voting rights is the first one who put Wesley Bell in. We have a lot to be proud of, Ryan Jackson and others. We got a lot to go. We come a long way, but we have a long ways to go. So in the words of Betty Jones, I want you to wake up, get up, sit up, look up, just a pay a prayer.